and we want to say thank you for saying yes. <laughs> and to all the leaders here, God bless you. My name is Bishop Dr. Patrick Kidwell Raleigh, and I'm doing what they call what went wrong. Now you have seen uh, my co-presenters told you something about the original. So from the original, we go to what went wrong with all that promises and all those words, okay? Let us turn to the scriptures. Let's go. Let us turn to these scriptures right here, and you will be go you are going to be participating in helping me to do this. Amen? Amen. Amen? And the Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Genesis 22, Genesis 2, 9 told us that. Again, God's commandment, do not eat the fruit, is certain. Genesis 2, 16, and the Lord God commanded the man, you are not to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And when you eat of it, what's going to happen? Surely I told you you have to do it with me. Come on. Now, God's commandments, do not eat the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God gave them the commandments not to eat the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If they eat it, they will surely die. Scripture says, Genesis 3, 24, the tree of life. What does the tree of life represent? Adam was to attend the tree of life but was blocked due to the fall so he drove out this man and he placed cherubims which are angels and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life now we watch this now in first corinthians 15 21 let's go back to this adam's disobedience brought spiritual death jesus restores adam's failure and brings abundant life. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even in, so in Christ shall all be made alive. We get it? Yes, we got it. Okay, let's go. What does the tree of life represent again? Jesus restored Adam's failure and stood as the last Adam. Then 1 Corinthians 15, 45, so it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being, the last Adam, a life-giving spirit. The tree of life, what does the tree of life represent? In the scripture, Jesus said in John 15, 5, I am the vine and, and you are the Thank you so much. Now, the tree of life. He says, what does the tree of life represent again? The Bible is referring to Jesus as the olive tree. We are to graft unto. Paul said in Romans eleven seventeen, and if some of the branches be broken off and that... We are 16. Wow. We are 16. Some of us are not 16, but... Coming in the midst of people like this, I find myself very different because I have a different background. And I listen to the bishop and the, um, the pastor, you know, Baltimore, I'm not from any of those. <clears throat> you know that I'm from.